Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing our perfume collection declutter. I just counted my fragrances and I have 115 to go through. We have 100 perfumes and 15 body mists right at the back. If you can see those back there. Actually, let me get down. You can see all those back there. They go off screen too. <laughs> I recently did my perfume collection update and this video will be the declutter. So I am going through all 115 fragrances and we'll be seeing what I keep, what I don't keep. I know I get questions why I have so many fragrances. I get majority of these in PR. I know you guys know if you follow my channel, I receive a lot to review. I'm just not going to use all these. So I don't just buy fragrances to right away declutter because that doesn't make sense. If something's being sent to me and I'm not going to be using it, I want to pass it on to a home that will use it. So that is why we're doing our declutter. These will be going to great homes and I cannot wait for the new owners to have these and to use them more than I can. So we'll see how many we can get rid of. I'm still going to have an extensive collection because quite frankly, fragrance is one of my vices. One of my favorite things, just as much as makeup, quite honestly, and fragrance for me is tied to memory. So a lot of these are moments in my life that I'm just not going to get rid of because it triggers that memory for me. And I'm sure a lot of you are the same way when it comes to fragrance, but some of these are just tied to memories and I love to buy fragrance when I have a special occasion or to celebrate something. So I forever have that memory ingrained. It really helps me, honestly, because I have a poor memory, but fragrance just, it gets it going. This video is gonna be forever long. So we're going to go ahead, jump into the collection and we'll see how we do. I'm honestly not sure how well I'm gonna do for this video, but I hope to declutter. I wanna get it down to around 80, honestly. That's kind of my number goal, but we're gonna see how it actually goes. If you like fragrance videos, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up so I know to continue doing these in the future. If this is your first video you've clicked on or you have not subscribed already, I would love for you to join the family here by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell if you wanna be notified of all my future videos. And let's go ahead and begin this fragrance declutter. Normally I put all the notes on the screen for you guys, but my computer would literally shut down if I did it for 115 different titles. For my declutters, I just have a running tally of keep and give away. So I will have that on the screen for you guys in case you're curious, because I know I like little tallies like that and it's gonna keep me on it for when I edit this video. These are all my KKW fragrance hearts. I'm not going to be getting rid of. I love the packaging of these and these are kind of collectors pieces for me, honestly. So I'm going to be keeping all six of these. I love the packaging. And if you guys are curious as to my favorites, I really love BFF, Bay, and Wifey. Wifey is the most high-end smelling of the six. And these two are super sweet and nice. And I do have a dupe for this Bay one that is recent to my collection, which I'm going to be keeping because I just recently bought that, which you know what, I'm just gonna show you right now. This is the dupe for the blue KKW heart. It's from the brand Rebel. And this is called Dripping Gold. My friend Stephanie got me hooked on this. She knew I love the KKW hearts. And this one is just a stronger version of the KKW blue heart. It is so good. If you like that, you will love this. It's a gourmand, my newest addition to my collection. And of course I'm gonna be keeping it. Literally just bought this. <laughs> I also recently reviewed all the Ariana Grande body mist. I will put that video linked up here for you guys to check out. Also just recently bought these, so I'm going to be keeping them. All the things that I honestly know right away what I'm doing with, I'm just gonna go over quickly. And then we're gonna get into the nitty gritty of the collection, but the new ones, like of course they're staying. I'm still testing them out for you guys. And I love the Ariana Grande scents. And then I have two more fragrance mists here from Bath & Body Works. I love in the stars it's my favorite scent that bath and body works does and then i got this one in pr it's waikiki beach coconut which i do love too i kept this one from pr and i've used a bit this summer so i'm going to be keeping those no donations so far but we're getting to that right now sol de janeiro recently sent me their entire fragrance mist collection and I wanted to go through them with you guys here. You're gonna be seeing them in a PR haul coming up too, but after that video, some of these will be donated. I'm gonna start off with the first scent that they ever released, which was number 62. This is the pistachio and salted caramel smell that was their signature scent. This is what they first came out with. This is what everyone fell in love with Sol de Janeiro when they smelled this. 
And I had a big bottle like this that had a different packaging, but as soon as they sent this one over, I actually already gave that to my friend this weekend. So I'm going to be keeping this one. I should have saved it for the declutter video, but you know, whatever. There's one that was pre-decluttered. And then the mini I'm going to be donating. I haven't even opened that one yet. Then we have number 71, which I hadn't smelt prior to them sending this over. This is supposed to be a caramelized vanilla and macadamia and we're already choking. This is one of those scents that I'm going to have to just play around with a little bit more. When I first smell it, I smell popcorn and I don't like it, but when it sits, it's nice. And since these honestly just came to my house like three days ago, it's not something I'm ready to give away quite yet, but I will be donating all the smaller ones for sure from these fragrances. Then we have number 40 which smells really good. It kind of reminds me of Givenchy Hot Couture, the Eau de Toilette. I really like this one. I'm for sure gonna be keeping it. It reminds me of high school though, but I, I do like the scent. And I think my husband really likes that scent. When I sprayed it, he made a comment about that, but I will be donating the small one. And then this one I had never smelt as well. It's number 39 and it says coconut cream and toasted praline. And this one I just would never wear. Quite frankly, I can already tell it's not gonna be like number 71 where I'm gonna think about it because that one I might also donate. But this one for sure, I just wouldn't wear it. I can't even pinpoint why I don't like it, but it's just definitely not for me this scent. So I'm gonna donate the big one for this and then the travel size as well. I'm gonna have to go quicker. <laughs> this is where we're gonna make a little bit of progress. Have all my oil perfumery oils here if you've not heard of them they do impressions of niche and designer fragrances i will link their website down below i'm gonna quickly smell these off camera and just show you which ones i'm keeping and not because this will take literally half an hour out of my oil perfumery i am keeping 13 and then i will be donating one two eight fragrances. So I won't be keeping Santal 33 from Lo Labo, Blackberry Bay, Jo Malone, F Fabulous, Tom Ford, Chanel Chance, Jo Malone, English Pear, and Freesia, Black Phantom from Killian, Replica by The Fireplace, and Jo Malone, Oud, and Bergamot. And then the ones that I will be keeping from Oil Perfumery are Mimosa and Cardamom from Jo Malone, one of my favorites of all time. Then we have Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille, Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, Love by Killian, Mason Francis Kirk John Oud. We have Baccarat Rouge by 40 X Straight. That's two of those, I think. Yep, two of those, cause those go in my purse. That's like top favorite fragrance of all time. And then we have the regular Baccarat Rouge by 40, Tom Ford Santal Blush, Killian Good Girl Gone Bad, Creed Royal Princess Oud, Aventus for Her from Creed, and then we have Oud Wood from Tom Ford, which is probably my favorite Oud that I found. I know you guys told me there was different Ouds and some Oud I really detest. This one is honestly one of the best I've ever smelled for me. Oh, it smells so good. Getting into my main perfume collection now, this is where it's gonna be really hard for me to give away because I have gone through this many times and decluttered. So we kind of have like a set <laughs> amount of fragrances here, but I'm going to try and find some that I just haven't been picking up. We have Dolce & Gabbana Rosa Excelsa. And honestly, I like this fragrance a lot. I just don't reach for it that much. I usually reach for it around Valentine's Day. I always say that. But because I haven't used it in so long, and even though I really truly do like it, I feel like someone else is gonna get some more use out of that, but it's honestly so good. I don't even know if they make that one anymore. So that is a declutter. Then we have my only House of Siage fragrance, which is the Disney collection. And I've been honestly holding on to this fragrance for the packaging. I love the packaging. Just the scent for me isn't something that I really reach for. It's definitely like a summer fragrance, but not for me. So I'm actually gonna be decluttering this because I know someone who would really appreciate this being a collector's piece. And I feel like this would make a great little donation to them. So I have someone in mind for this. And yeah, that's the only reason why I can part with it because I just know someone else would really appreciate it more because I've been hanging on to it just for the packaging. And then one of my favorite fragrances for fall is Guerlain Mon Guerlain. I am for sure keeping that. We have this random one, Herb Essentials. I have no idea. I don't ever use that. So we're decluttering that. I'm almost done my Burberry Her travel ball that I have. And I'm keeping that one of my favorites. And then 
We have one from Laird that I will be donating. Then we have my two Alien fragrances. I love both of these. Both are super unique and you need to check them out if you have not already. This one is perfect for the warmer months. This one's great for the upcoming cooler months. So 100% keeping those. I can tell when you're wearing those. <laughs> They're super unique. Another top five fragrance for me is Burberry Her. Love this, we'll never get rid of it. It's always on rotation. And one that may surprise you is Angel Nova. I actually already decluttered the full size of this. And as much as I like the scent, it is really strong on the rose. A little too heavy for me, quite frankly. So I'm going to be donating this guy. Even though I already gave the full size to my friend, maybe she'll like the travel size. And then I absolutely love Love by Killian. I have the travel of this, so I'll be keeping that. Moving on to my Jo Malone fragrances. There's one standout fragrance <laughs> to me. I do enjoy their fragrances. They're made to mix, but they're a little bit simple on their own, except for the one. And this is Jo Malone Mimosa and Cardamom, top five for me. Probably said that for more than five at this point, but if you've been following me, you know. This is me in a bottle, one of my most used. This is happiness in a bottle to me. I cannot go without Mimosa and Cardamom. I just recently smelt these two again. We have Peony and Blush Suede, which is a beautiful bridal scent, and Red Roses Cologne. I just honestly have not been reaching for either of them as much as I do like them, like the Dolce & Gabbana that I have. It's just time for them to go to a new home, I feel. And then I have a little baby that I counted as a fragrance. It's the Wood Sage and Sea Salt, only because I would purchase the full size of this because I really like it too. So Jo Malone, keeping two, donating two. I think we did pretty good for that. I honestly, if I'm gonna reach for Jo Malone, it's always Mimosa and Cardamom, so I feel like it's time for those two to see new homes. Next, we have one of my most consistent brands for fragrances that always hit a home run for me. So this is Givenchy. It's gonna be hard for me to part with any of these if I do, but I'm 100% keeping all my versions of Givenchy Linter D, the newest being the Rouge, but all their variations are insanely good. I cannot get enough of these. These are my go-to fall scents, so those are all staying. This is my Hot Couture Eau de Toilette, which I always hold on to. This was my signature scent for many years of my life, and I'll always have a bottle of that. Then we have Givenchy Dahlia Divine, which I used to honestly love a lot, but there's something about this which I'm actually gonna donate that one. I didn't think I'd ever see the day where I donated that fragrance, but today's the day for me. And then I have two of the Givenchy Irresistible ones. I'll definitely be keeping the EDP just because it's a little bit richer than the Eau de Toilette, even though I like both and they're both unique enough to keep both. I'm just gonna pass one on. I am surprised I was able to do that, but you know what? I'm trying to be a little bit more ruthless in my main collection, even though I'm still keeping quite a bit. I feel like I can finally part with these two scents. This one's actually dusty. <laughs> I haven't used this in forever. Victor and Rolf fragrances for me is a hit and miss. I know some of them are super popular. I really loved the bonbon back in the day, but I feel like now is the time for me to pass this on. I did use quite a bit of it, but I feel like it's time for it to leave my collection. I also received from Victor and Rolf in PR the flower bomb. This was just a limited edition packaging which I'm not a fan of Flower Bomb myself. I will also be donating that fragrance. I know so many people love it. It's their signature scent. It's just a little too heavy in the patchouli for me. And a much more wearable fragrance for Flower Bomb is the Midnight for me. So this is the one that I personally reach for myself. It reminds me of a lot of YSL Mon Petit, if you're familiar with that fragrance and definitely the one that I'll be keeping. And then we have two Spice Bombs. We have the Infrared, which is the new one, and then the regular Spice Bomb. Me and my husband both use these. These are colognes, but I love to dip into my husband's cologne collection and I love these two on me personally. So those will 100% be staying and I don't think my husband would appreciate me getting rid of his clones. <laughs> and now moving on to MAC. These ones are two staple ones. I don't even know if they make them anymore. We have Creme de Nude and Candy Yum Yum. I love these and Candy Yum Yum was the first ever PR I ever got from MAC Cosmetics, which was a big thing for me, so this is forever linked to scent memory and I will never get rid of this. This one just smells like the best winter by the fireplace. Fireplace. <laughs> fireplace? Fireplace? 
fireplace, like full of lice and fire. That sounds horrible. You know what? My sense of smell definitely has changed over the years. And I think I'm honestly past this one too. And my best friend loves this scent. So I'm gonna give that to her. I know she would appreciate it having that. And I'm just gonna keep Candy Yum Yum just because it's forever linked to scent memory. I feel like I'm doing better than I thought I would, honestly, because I have such ties to my perfume collection, especially my older fragrances. So it's a little bit harder for me to declutter those. Next brand we have is Gucci. We're gonna go through these quite fast. I have four of these here. We have Gucci Guilty, which has a lot of black licorice, I feel like, in it. And I'm finally gonna be passing him on. My Gucci Bamboo, my dad gave to me, and I think he has such great taste. This is great daytime scent. I'm gonna be keeping that for sure, because it was a gift, and I really like it. <laughs> I purchased this one. It's the Gucci Eau de Parfum 2. A lot of people love this scent. I believe this is discontinued as well, but I'm gonna finally be passing this on. I never use it, honestly. And then I'm going to be keeping my Gucci Flora. This is probably my favorite Gucci scent, honestly. Absolutely love this one. Two and two, we're doing good. <laughs> Next we have Replica. I have three Replica fragrances here to go over. My favorite being Matcha Meditation, which of course I'm gonna be keeping. I fell in love with this hard this summer. This is my first and only tea fragrance in my collection. So it, it holds a special spot for me. So I'm 100% keeping that. Then I have two other ones. We have Bubble Bath and By the Fireplace. I received Bubble Bath and PR. And personally for me, I would declutter this, but I do like how this smells on my husband's. I'm gonna ask him how he feels about Bubble Bath, but we're putting that in the declutter section. So it's definitely out of my collection now. It might stay in his. I'll update you guys on his thoughts for that fragrance for himself. Otherwise it's gonna be going to an entirely new home. Then we have Replica by The Fireplace, which I did purchase. And I don't like this as a scent on myself. This smells great on other people. This is more of a home scent to me. It's not a body scent. Like I don't pull this off quite frankly. So that is why we're passing that on. Three fragrances here from Lancome. And I have two of the La Vie Belle. We have the Intense and we have the Le Clat, I believe. My pronunciation is horrible. Excuse my inability to move my mouth in such a way. So I smell both of these. I always like going through my La Vie Belle when I do receive them in PR and I like to keep one and I'm still this one. So the Le Clet is my personal choice for La Vie Belle and I'm going to be passing on the Intense version even though they both smell really different. The Intense I just, I can't see myself reaching for and when I do reach for it, I'm always reaching for this one. And then this one is 100% keep. It's probably my favorite of the Lancome fragrances I've personally smelled, and it's the Edel. And this is such a gorgeous, unique packaging. 100% keeping that in my collection. This is the Monet Master Times Master fragrance. Comes on this little stand here. Very unique smell to my collection. It's fairly fresh, and you can only get this on fragrance.net, I believe. So I'm gonna be holding on to this. I have used quite a bit of it. I don't reach for it lately. I always forget about it just because of how I have to store it because of the stand. If the bottle was different, I would probably reach for it more, but I'm going to be keeping that. Then we have In The Stars from Bath & Body Works, which is the perfume. And this is such a great scent. This is new to me. I said I was gonna keep either the Body Splash or this one, and I honestly can't decide at this point, so I'm not going to make those kind of decisions quite yet because I do actually like it. I thought I liked the Body Mist more, but that one's growing on me. And then we have Escada Cherry in the Air. This is such an easy to wear fragrance and can't really get any more. If you like cherry, you'll absolutely love this. This is just a great after the shower scent and I don't use it too often as well because I'm just kind of saving that bottle. We have Carolina Herrera Good Girl fragrance. And as much as I liked this at the time, this is also a little too heavy for me now and that's probably gonna shock a lot of people because I know so many people like this fragrance, but you can see like the dust built up on it. And I also have someone in mind for this fragrance that I think is gonna absolutely love it. So that's kind of pushing me to the donate, which I feel like I'm gonna actually do this time around. We have the LYRD Rose de Soleil which is a really nice rose scent. I'm going to be passing that on, even though it's super pretty. We have the Kate by Fruits and Passion. 
which again is really pretty, but I don't reach for it as much as other fragrances as well. And then we have the Stella by Stella McCartney, which I am going to be keeping. You know what? I'm actually gonna be passing this on. I have the rollerball that's not in my collection right now. So do I have 116 fragrances? It's somewhere, it's in a purse. I'm going to pass on the full size because I honestly haven't been reaching for this in quite some time. So that actually knocks down a fragrance which I didn't think I'd be getting rid of, but my sense of smell definitely has changed and those ones can go to a new home. Now we have YSL, which is another favorite brand for me. I'm going to be keeping my YSL Libra fragrances. We have the original and the intense go-to for fall. I decided to keep my Black Opium Midnight the last time I decluttered the regular Black Opium and then they sent it again to me and I'm like, does that mean I should have this in my collection that you sent it to me again? But I haven't even opened it yet so I'm going to be donating him for sure. Decluttered it for a reason last time, but let's just smell Midnight again. You know what? Everyone wears this scent and I just don't reach for it. If I'm gonna reach for a YSL, it's the Libra Fragrances or Mon Paris. So you know what? I'm getting rid of all Black Opium. <laughs> Shocking, I know. I know so many people are gonna have words about that, but if someone else can use it, why would I hold on to it, you know? So now I'm going on to my YSL Mon Paris have the original and the intense, or is this the floral? I think this is the intense. I am going to pass on the intense and just keep the original Mon Petit. This is a baby of mine. And again, if I'm gonna reach for one of the Mon Petit, it's this one over the other one, so why would I keep it? And then one that I didn't think I'd get rid of, I meant to get the elixir, and I've said this before in the past, and I tried to make this work for me, and I know a lot of people like this too. It's the YSL Manifesto. I just need to go ahead and get the elixir and not hold on to this if I'm not gonna use it. So I'm going to be donating my Manifesto and I actually got rid of more YSL than I'm keeping, which we're doing pretty good, I think. I'm happy about it. People are gonna love these. I have two fragrances from Chloe. We have Nomad, which I'm keeping. And this is just original Chloe which I'm also keeping. Really nice, elegant scents. We have the C Fiori, Flory, Fiori. <laughs> I can't read what it says. They don't make this one anymore, so I've been told, so I'm holding on to this for dear life. And then I'm also going to be keeping my Giorgio Armani My Way, which is another really universally appealing scent. Can't go wrong with this, honestly, it works for everything, so none of these are going. We are almost there, you guys. We have two fragrances from Versace. I'm going to be keeping Bright Crystal. This brings back memories for me. Another one I used to wear for university and I used to wear all the time when I started my blog. If you guys remember those days, spray this in my eye. And then this is Versace Eros Pour Femme, which I'm going to be actually donating this time. Held on to this for a long time and I just haven't been reaching for it. And then I have my Ariana Grande perfumes. I have Ari, Sweet Like Candy, and Cloud, which keeping all of these. And did you hear that they have Cloud Intense? I linked that on my community tab if you didn't see, but I'll link it down below. They have Cloud Intense at Ulta. For my US friends, definitely check out the Intense and let me know how good it is because we don't have it in Canada yet. And I want it so, so badly, but keeping all those Ariana Grande ones and the one Versace I am donating. It is empty behind us. We have the rest on my table here. I'm gonna start off with Atelier Cologne. We have the Vanilla Intense, which I'm not a fan of, shocking, but I have other vanilla fragrances I like a lot more, so I'm gonna be donating that one. I'm going to be keeping Lemon Island because I almost cried when I smelled this the first time. <laughs> That's how good of a scent it is. Then from Atelier Cologne, we also have Clementine California, which I recently got in PR, and this is quite a popular scent. And as much as I do like it as well, I'm just gonna pass it along because I always <laughs> reach for Lemon Island. Like when there is a perfume that really stands out that much from a brand, it really hinders me from reaching for others for some reason. So those are going to be passed on because Lemon Island has won my heart. And then we have two Chanel fragrances. We have Chanel Chance Eau Tendre. You saw I got rid of just regular Chanel Chance and the Rollerball, but Eau Tendre is my favorite and I will be keeping her. 
We have Coco Mademoiselle, which I'll also be keeping. This can be a little bit strong for me, but the right moment, it works. And then another favorite fragrance for me is Dior Blooming Bouquet, another favorite fragrance for me. So that's 100% being kept. And then finally, two of my last fragrances are from Okja. And these are impressions of niche and designer fragrances. So we have Orphic and Seven, 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 which are supposed to be like Baccarat Rouge 540, which I'm keeping both of them, one's the Extrait and one's the original one. We have Sweet Addict, which is like Love by Killian. And then we have Sinful, which is Tom Ford Lost Cherry love all these scents so those ones are for sure being kept and that is everything for this massive perfume declutter i don't even know how many i have decluttered right now you'll see the running tally i think i did pretty good let me go and check it might not equal the total but it will be kind of close one sec <laughs> i just counted my declutter pile and we have 41 fragrances there actually did better than I thought because I was hoping to get around 80 for my overall collection and we got to 74. And there might actually be a couple more when all said and done, when I go back through the recent ones that I got from Sol de Janeiro too, we might get more in the declutter. So I think I did pretty good for this time around. I did get through some of my main collection perfumes and declutter some ones that I haven't been using, which I honestly thought I would hold on for life. For me personally, I think I did really good and I'm really excited to be decluttering and donating these to people who will definitely use them more than I've been able to. So that's always a good feeling. And that's going to be it for this declutter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Was there anything shocking to you that I did declutter? I'd love to know in the comments. This has definitely freed up some space and I'm excited for my collection to finally fit back in my perfume area that I have because it was definitely overflowing before. So now we finally have some room and I'm very happy about that. I feel like it was definitely a very successful declutter for me personally and I'm very happy with what I was able to declutter today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video though. I know it was a long one, but I'm thankful for you guys for sticking it out for me for right now if you're still listening to me talk. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. I had so much fun doing this and I'm glad you're watching right now. So thank you so much for watching. And if you have not subscribed already, I would love for you to join, okay? <laughs> hit that red button, the bell if you want to be notified of all my future videos. I would love to have you here with me. So thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.